Good morning. morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. (sighs) Truly. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you are wanting? Yes. Liar, liar, liar. (laughs) Well, it changes fast, doesn't it? Life just dishes up more clarity about what you want moment by moment by moment by moment. So that's really not the best question because of course new desires coming all the time and mostly you don't really know it because mostly you're not really keeping up to speed with the new desire as fast as it's hatched. Do you follow that? Contrast helps you to ask for something more, but you are rarely a vibrational match to the new desire in the moment that you ask for there's a vibrational variance between this new preference and where you are standing vibrationally do you understand that if you do then we're off and running because we're talking about vibrational variances and if you are understanding first that you are a vibrational being and that there is a vibrational relationship between you and what you are perceiving right here and now and that expanded version of you which is the part of you that includes that newly hatched desire if you understand that there is this vibrational variance or not now if there's no vibrational variance in other words if you want something if you hold a desire for something and even though it has not yet manifested oh let's start in a new place if you desire something that has manifested Oh, did that twist your brain into a knot? (laughs) If you desire something that has manifested, there are plenty of things like that in your life, aren't there? Things that you desire that you understand, that you know. There is no vibrational variance between this that you desire and your now recognition of it. That is a good place to start, isn't it? But what about those things that you want that have not yet manifested and what we want to help you to understand is that even though you haven't realized them in the fullest sense and in the sense you want in other words even though they haven't manifested they haven't actualized they haven't materialized they haven't demonstrated themselves to you in the fullest way that you want so that you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it even though it's not all happening just like that for you still It is a desire that does exist and you do own it vibrationally if you could just let yourself know that and by that we mean if you are not discouraged about what hasn't demonstrated itself fully if you want it and feel good about wanting it that's the other way of saying it if you desire it and the desire feels good to you while you are desiring it then there's no vibrational variance and when there's no vibrational variance new words we haven't said to you before do you like them no vibrational variance when there's no vibrational gap between your newly hatched desires or your oldly hatched desires and where you stand when there's no variance then there's no resistance and since there is a path of no resistance now you must realize it we want to talk about how fun it is along the path even when there is a little resistance because sometimes going down a path that has some resistance also brings more clarification about what you want how are you gonna know what you want if you don't have some variety in your experience so we think that what's freaking you out it does freak you out (laughs) we think that what's freaking you out about things that you desire that have not shown up fully in your experience is that you continue to be a vibrational variance to them and that's the freak out everything that you want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it whether it's a material object or a pile of money or a relationship a circumstance an event doesn't matter what it is everything that you want is because you believe you will feel better in the having of it and as we are together today and before you leave we would like you to really come to realize that the having of it
can happen immediately the vibrational having of it now we know that's so annoying <laughs> you want the money in your bank and the lover in your bed and blah 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 you know we know you want the materialization of it but we want you to understand that if you can just for a little while focus upon the vibrational nature of your being and just for a little while use the emotional guidance system that you were born with that is explicitly about understanding that vibrational variance or absence of it in other words are you in alignment with what you're asking for or are you in resistance to what you're asking for so as you begin to consciously pay attention to how you are feeling and you begin to deliberately offer your thoughts with the intention of soothing that gap of soothing that resistance of allowing yourself to be a vibrational match to what you're asking for as you begin to just focus a little more precisely it's our promise to you that you will begin to feel a whole lot better and on the heels of feeling a whole lot better on the close heels of feeling a whole lot better consistently better all kinds of demonstrations that you're on the right path meaning the path to what you are desiring demonstrations to let you know that and manifestations that are evidence of you and what you want being in the same vibrational place and therefore being in the same manifested place you can't be a vibrational variance and get it it's just that simple so recently in one of the seminars we made a statement that you inspired from us that said when you don't say what you mean the universe knows what you mean so let's say that you are upset about something but you're pretending that you are not so you have a smile on your face and you're using those nice words but you don't mean what you're saying well the universe hears what you mean and responds to what you mean so some have said fake it until you make it and we say nice try <laughs> because what you mean is what you mean and what you mean is how you feel so if you feel uncomfortable about something you have to be the soother of that discomfort you have to be the soother of that discomfort and that's such an interesting thing because you are surrounded by so many annoying people <laughs> who if they would just behave better you would feel better we know that's what you think <sighs> but we want you to begin now to take complete responsibility for the way you feel and let all of them off the hook for for a few reasons but this is the most important one you can't control them and when you try you just mess your life up and you teach yourself something over and over again you try something that doesn't work over and over again until you begin to feel unworthy because what you want doesn't come or defeated because it's harder than it ought to be and so today we want to help you to come into awareness first and you're so close to being there in many cases already there that it's going to be an easy conversation awareness of what you're doing vibrationally and then we'll just talk for all of the time that we are together about ways and you will help us demonstrate how to come into more steady vibration alignment with who you are we have just a couple of things that we want to say to you just as a sort of basis so that we all get off on the same vibrational wavelength first your vibration we've already talked about that next you are always emitting a signal so you're always transmitting a signal that law of attraction is responding to law of attraction is bringing to you thoughts and experiences that match the signal that you're offering and as you're moving through your days even though there are a lot of different subjects you don't vary that much 
on the signal that you're offering because how you feel is pretty much how you feel now we know you have highs and lows and ups and downs you're all sort of bipolar <laughs> you are you are because you are sometimes in complete alignment with who you are and feeling your empowerment which means you're tuned in tapped in turned on you're full of enthusiasm you just want to talk you just want to share you just want to move you just want to exhibit the happiness that you feel and sometimes not so much and the reason that sometimes not so much is because sometimes you get focused upon things that you've been focused upon before that have a sort of strong attraction power so you can be up and down and up and down and up and down many times during a day you just usually aren't that up and down the tone of the day is sort of usually what goes through the day you say oh this has been a bad day or I've got out of bed on the wrong side or I'm off on the wrong foot so we really want to talk about and we will with you all the hours that we are together we want to talk about setting that vibrational tone and after we tell you a couple of stories that will help you to understand why that's so important then we'll just move forward into the things that you specifically want to talk about so you were source energy before you came into this physical body some of you are understanding that do you know that and even though you were that then and then you came into this body you still are that now even though you're in this body in other words there is a non-physical counterpart to you a balanced counterpart it's this pure positive energy you that every time you sift through the desired by you contrast in your time space reality you launch a preference we call them rockets of desires because they move outward from you you project them you emit them you transmit them and when you transmit that signal of desire this non-physical part of you immediately becomes a vibrational equivalent of that new amended you that just happened because of this expansion that just took place which means every time you emit a new desire there is now a potential of you being split from it of you having split energy because you just became something more vibrationally that you're not physically in terms of your now personality up to speed with and that that we just explained to you right there is the reason for literally every emotion that you feel because when you've become something that you're not up to speed with you feel that difference as you come to be up to speed with it then you feel the ease and clarity that comes from that so all day long you are in varying degrees in alignment or not in allowance or not of that furthest expanded part of you and nothing else is important for you to ever understand about anything because you came to be the creator of your own experience and you are that all day long and you are launching these rockets and the larger part of you is becoming them and holding the signal of that new expanded you with such clarity with such brilliance with such high powered wattage of vibrational output that you can feel in every moment your vibrational relationship to that it's just that simple now we know for some of you if it's new in hearing that that that's sort of a boring maybe even hard concept to get your thoughts around but we promise by the time that we are at the ending today you will understand that fully because nothing matters more than that you are moving in the direction of that which you have become you don't have to be up to speed with it completely you don't have to know it because in the moment you know it it's manifested and there's a whole lot of fun on the journey so we're not talking about closing the gap closing the gap and standing there in a closed gap because you were born into an experience where you intended to have plenty of step one moments where contrast causes you to ask so you're gonna ask all day and you're gonna have gaps always between who you have become and what you are allowing yourself to be we're not talking about getting rid of that gap we're asking you to manage it we're asking you to enjoy the vibrational ride of moving in the direction of what you've become instead of moving in opposition to what you've become that's all because there's always going to be a new desire there's always going to be a new journey there's always going to be more that you are on your way to allowing yourself to manifest fully so we don't want you to be tentative and guarded about trying to control your thoughts we want you to think clearly we just want you to gently and often guide your thoughts